Protestant evangelist and missionary Franklin Graham expressed outrage Thursday with the Ten House. Republicans who joined Democrats this week in voting to impeach President Trump for a second time and claimed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi may have swayed them. Shame. Shame on the 10 Republicans who joined with that Speaker Pelosi and Amp. The House Democrats in impeaching President Trump yesterday, Graham wrote, After all that he has done for our country, you would turn your back and Amp. Betray him so quickly? What was done yesterday only further divides our nation. In a separate post on Facebook, Graham developed the betrayal theme, likening the 10 Republicans to Judas Iscariot, the fallen disciple of Jesus Christ, whom the Bible says betrayed Christ in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. It makes you wonder what the 30 pieces of silver were that Speaker Pelosi promised for this betrayal, Graham wrote. Pelosi was expected to address the next steps after Wednesday's impeachment vote during a Friday morning news conference at the Capitol. Reuters reported, on Twitter, Pelosi did not acknowledge the anti-Trump votes by 10 Republicans, saying only that most House Republicans betrayed their sacred responsibility by standing with the president. In further remarks, Graham acknowledged that President Trump wasn't a perfect person. I don't support or agree with some of the things the president said and did the last couple of weeks, wrote Graham. 68, one of five offspring of the late Rev. Billy Graham, the legendary preacher and missionary who died in 2018 at age 99. January 6 was a low point in his presidency. We knew he had flaws when he ran for office in 2016. But I, and millions of others, voted for him because of the platform and policies he promised. I still support those. Franklin Graham. Graham accused the Democrats of trying to get rid of the president since the day he took office. In a September appearance on Fox and Amp. Friends Weekend, Graham asserted that only God could address the problems that America currently faces. Prior to a prayer march in Washington that month, Graham said the U.S. was in need of a spiritual healing, after problems that he said included the marginalization of the church and its leaders. I believe the socialists in this country would like to shut churches, but I'm going to just pray that we will turn our eyes to God, he said. In November, Graham praised President Trump's three Supreme Court appointees, Justices Neil Gorsuch. Brett Kavanaugh and Amy Coney Barrett, after they ruled in favor of New York churches in synagogues who opposed the state's coronavirus-related limits on worship services. Graham wrote on Twitter that he was thankful for President at Real Donald Trump's appointment of three conservative hashtag SCOTUS justices who ruled last night in favor of churches and AMP against COVID overreach in the state of New York.